Today we're going to teach you how to downgrade a iPhone 2G from any firmware to iOS 1.1.1. So the requirements are a Windows XP machine with Windows.NET Framework 2.0 and the zip file I'll be providing in the description below. And this um, zip file is from SoundGuy. He's very cool. He actually created this zip file and he also made the original video on teaching you how to downgrade a 2G to 1.0. So uh, I'll also leave the description, uh, so the link in the description below for you to check out this original video and channel. So now let's get into the process of downgrading. So first, you need to have um, a dedicated Windows uh, machine. Of course, it needs to be dedicated, not a virtual machine. So now you need to plug in your iPhone on any firmware into your Windows XP PC using a USB cable. Plug it in. Once uh, iTunes detects it, you can put the iPhone into DFU mode. So how to do this is to, is to press the power button and home button for 10 seconds and then let go of the power button after 10 seconds and keep holding the home button for 10 seconds until iTunes recognizes the iPhone. So now let's just um, put the iPhone into DFU mode by pressing the power and home button for 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight nine ten and let go of the power button one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there should be a little message popping up saying that a dfu uh, device is detected but in case mine does not so let's just manually launch itunes and see if it detects our iphone and as you can see here, it's loading. As you can see here, it says iPhone. So now we can press Shift and press Restore. So now we need to go into the zip file you have downloaded. So let's just go to Desktop and 1.0 Jailbreak Software. So now you need to select the 1.1.4 IPSW here and press Open. Okay. So now it'll say extracting software, so it'll do its job and restore your iPhone to 1.1.4. But remember, if you have iOS 3.1.3, you need to downgrade to iOS 3.0 first, because um, it will not work if you not go to 3.0 first. I'll do a separate video on teaching you how to do that, so I'll also link that in the description below once it's released. So now if you're on 3.0, then you can just uh, watch this video and continue. So the iPhone is restoring. I'll come back when this thing is done. So guys, after the first restore to iOS 1.1.4, this may sound a little weird, but actually going to restore 1.1.4 again. So yeah, just follow me so this won't uh, do anything bad to your iPhone. This is required for downgrading. So yeah, just follow me. So we're going to just do this again, go into DFU mode again, so we're just going to press the power and home button for 10 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and let go of the power button and keep pressing the home button for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And iTunes has recognized my iPhone. And once again, you press Shift and press Restore. And now you select the 1.1.4 uh, IPSW that you have used previously on the first downgrade. So just press Open. It will say, uh, once again, it will do the same thing. So I will come back when this restore is finished. The second restore for 1.1.4 is finished. Of course, iTunes will pop up with a message saying that your iPhone uh, needs a SIM card to activate, but uh, once this pops up, just discard it and press OK or press the cross there. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, so just press OK. And now, we're just going to close and exit out of iTunes. And now you need to go into the Unlock and Jailbreak software and press this folder, press on this folder, and press on this folder and go into here 
and you just press extract all and just next and next and just yes to all and finish and once you get the new window you just launch this and you scroll down and you press this and you run this and as you can see here we have created with a window that looks like this let's close off these as you can see here we need to select debug root and i erase so what this basically do is does is that um, it erases the baseband on the iPhone so uh, we can install the correct baseband on here so debug root and I erase so just press start do not press downgrade baseband that will uh, ruin your iPhone so don't do that so the iPhone will have a bunch of stuff coming up on the screen don't worry this is normal so I'm just gonna come back once this um, process is finished uh, after the process has finished your iPhone will reboot and it will eventually boot into the activation screen so I'm just gonna put it here and wait it to load and it will say searching for iPhone just don't just leave this alone don't care about it and just don't care about the iPhone don't touch it while the process is running so once this reboots it will say repair needed uh you also just leave it alone too so it will reboot so let's just wait it to reboot so as you can see here it has rebooted here and it'll say repair needed or something something so it'll say the IMEI is unknown because it doesn't have the baseband and those have this little signal but just discard this again and just launch iTunes and now once iTunes is launched now you need to once again put your iPhone into DFU mode and once again restore 1.1.4 1 .1 on this iPhone so we can put the correct baseband on here so it'll say waiting for iPhone iTunes will detect your iPhone so let's just wait until it detects it and we'll put it into DFU mode so you see here iPhone cannot be used with iTunes just press OK and it says repair needed so now we are just going to um, get into DFU mode so we're just gonna press the power and home button for 10 seconds and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and wait until iTunes detects it, so you see here, we have detected it in iTunes, so now you once again press shift, press restore, and you need to click the 1.1.4 IPSW and click open. And now once again restore your iPhone, just uh, leave the iPhone alone and wait until it says it's finished. So I'll come back later. Now the third restore to iOS 1.1.4 is finally finished. So all the restoring is done for this downgrade and unlock. So now you just need to wait for iTunes to detect your iPhone and just quit out of iTunes. So now it's de trying to detect the iPhone. So just uh, leave it at this state until the message pops up like this. And just press OK and just quit out of iTunes. We won't need it anymore. So now we need to go to Z iPhone. This is not included in the zip file. I will also include the description uh, below for the links. Um, so now you need to extract the file and open it. And just click this. And it will launch. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. So now we need to press this. This is inside of one of this file, um, this file, I think. So, yeah, so just follow the instructions uh, and launch this one. I just press run and just press OK and unzip. This is where you would require Windows uh, .NET Framework 
So just press unzip and finished. And Z iPhone will launch. And you need to press advanced features here. Wait for it to come up. And I think it's going to launch in a very short amount of time. As you can see here, it has launched. And if you just want to activate the phone and unlock it, so you just untick a jailbreak file system. And once you have ticked these two, you will have a fully unlocked but not jailbroken and activated iPhone 2G. So just press perform actions. So now it will say rebooting phone in recovery mode. And once again, you need to leave the iPhone alone. So uh, I'm just going to come back once this is finished. Now the iPhone is rebooting. It's almost finished. And by the way, this process takes about uh, 2 to 4 minutes, depending on your phone and your ne network and your machine. And yay, process completed successfully. Now you can unplug your iPhone. And we just gonna click restart later. This is something that just my machine does. And as you can see here, we have it fully unlocked. I was a 1.1.4 on your iPhone 2G. So let's go into settings in general. This is 1.1.4. So thanks for watching and peace.